you will see on the picture here, I got a picture of the palette. I'll put the colors on the palette, uh, the names of them, and you'll be able to get a, a shot of that and pause it. So we're going to do a little uh, winter scene with a little cabin here. And we're going to start out here with a little bit of this uh, cad yellow. Now you can use Indian yellow too if you really wanted to. But what we're going to do is we're going to come down about halfway and we're going to start it about right here. About right in here. I kind of wanted that a little bit, a little bit more orangey. In fact, I think what I'll do is take a tiny bit of red and add it to that same color. Just a little bit, not much, just a little. I want it to be a bit more orangey. Let's see if that will do. There we go. Okay. All the way across with it. And as I go up here, I'm going to add a little bit of this ochre to it. The same color, I'm just using the same brush, add a little bit of ochre. Not like so. All the way across. Kind of blend that all in right there. I kind of like to have that a little bit lighter. I'm going to add a little bit of white in there, just a little bit. It's right there on the palette. It's fine. I want to lighten it up a little bit. Maybe just a little bit more. Not a lot, just a little bit. There we go. Okay, as we go up here to the top here, I'm going to add a little bit more red to that same color. A little bit of red. Maybe a tad more. I want to get that red right in here. Just like so. Red all the way across. A little bit more. Red comes in right in there, like that. I like that a little bit brighter. A little bit more red. I want to get this red up in here more. A little bit more of a reddish color. Not like so. Okay. Now, I'm going to wash this brush. Not very much. I'm just going to wash a little bit. Try not to be able to wash, have to wash the brushes too awful much on this video because it takes us too much time. So now I'm going to take, and we're going to get some Prussian blue, which is right here. So grab some Prussian blue. A little bit. I start up in the corner. A little crisscross stroke. About like so. All the way across the top. I want that to be the darkest area. And I'm going to just kind of crisscross it right down to this other color here. About like so. About like that. We don't got to be careful about getting in there too much because you'll make it turn green, as you can see right there. Okay, so we got that. We're going to just wash the brush again. Like so make sure you get your brush dry after you wash it. That's very, very important. And I got, had it a little bit wet right there, but. Um, it does take a bit more time. I'm trying to keep it as quick as I can. So, I should be giving it more time for drying. So, I got a dryer brush here. I'm going to use the dry brush. This bit right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and very, very lightly from here, from the bottom, I'm going to go up Bring it down a little bit. And I could have left that brush dirty because I'm probably going to need it again here in just a minute. Just keep going up though. We don't want to uh, get that green in there very much. That's for sure. Just kind of lightly go across. Just like that. Just like so. Okay. Just like that. Now, since this is already dirty, I'm going to go ahead and use this one anyway. Even though I'm using it for this. We need to go ahead and bring in some of the, the bottom here. So I'm going to go ahead and use this same Prussian blue. I'm going to grab a little bit of crimson and a little bit of midnight black. And what I want to do is I want to just go ahead and, and put a light, it doesn't have to be nothing real thick, just put it in here like this. Get the bottom in here a little bit so we've got something to 
set our little cabin on and our trees in and all that good stuff. We'll be coming over that with snow, so we don't want it too thick. So be careful about getting it too thick. We don't want it too thick. We just want some of that blue under there to help highlight the snow. So, right about here like so. Okay, we're in business. Now, let's go ahead and have to wash it brush again, unfortunately. And although I have another brush I could use, but we'll try to do it in a record amount of time, hopefully. Do it the Bob Ross way and just bang it out. Okay, so now what we want to do is we're going to start doing some little foothills back here. And what we're going to do with that is we're going to take a nice dry brush, which we'll try this one here. And we're going to use the same mixture. I'm going to add a little bit more crimson with some midnight black. I think we'll add a little bit of uh, Van Dyke Brown into that mixture. Probably quite a bit of Van Dyke Brown. And we're going to just go ahead and we're going to look for some foothills right in here. Although I'm going to be putting some clouds in here, but we can go ahead and hit these first foothills first. And what we're going to do is we're just going to take and start about right here. And we're not going to go too far. We're just going to go about like so, but we need more paint on there. Let's get a bit more paint, more crimson. And we're just going to put them in about like so. We don't want them to be too, too awful dark. We just want them to be, that's not quite dark enough. We want that a little bit darker, it's showing too much blue here. Just kind of tap it in there a little bit like so. Uh, and here goes up a little bit more here, not like so. Okay, and we'll take that work. Actually, the lighter would have been even probably would have worked out even better. If it's lighter, don't worry about it. It's, it's fine. Then we can just take and pull them up a little bit, so we can indicate the trees, little tree tops, not like so. Not too much, just a little tiny bit. Because this is only 11 by 14 canvas, by the way, and you don't want it to go up too high. So what we're going to do is here is we're going to dry that off a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just tap the bottom of this, kind of make it like a little bit of a misty area. See, it's wet. My brush is still wet, so I got to dry it some more. It's still wet. You don't want it wet, and you see the wetness right there. You don't want it. You got to be dry, nice and dry. So you tap it, tap it, give it that little bit of a misty area like so. Just keep tapping. Make sure it's good and dry. I don't like it when it's not dry because it's just not, it gets too wet and then it turns into mud. You don't want it to turn into mud. And a misty, lighter misty color. That's all you want, that lighter misty color. That little bit of trees, that's all you want right there. Just like so. Okay? Save that brush, keep it good and dry, because we're going to need it again. So, before we go any further, I think we're going to go ahead and, and put the clouds in real quick. This, this brush here is dirty. And I think we're going to just wash it real quick. Unfortunately, we'll go ahead and wash it, and we're going to try to get this thing in a half an hour, if at all possible. That there. Now, for the clouds, we're going to use, this, we're going to use another dry brush, and what we're going to do is take and um, Take a tiny little bit of this red, and we're going to add it into this white right here. Just a tiny little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to just start taking a little circular motion like this. Like so. Push it right into the canvas there. Some more white. Plenty of white paint. 
push it around, let it dance around a little bit right here. You can just stuff down on in this, this area right here. Some more white right there. Bring it right there. All the way over here. And we'll get some more. And start over here. Just kind of little kind of circles. Just kind of dance it around. Come on right down into this other color. Fine. Great. I want these clouds to be everywhere. And you can look at the cloud up here. Just a little bit. Just a little bit like so. Maybe a little here. Right there. Let's see, I'm getting some of that blue I'm contaminating it. So we got to be careful about that. We don't want to contaminate it. We just want the clouds to be in there like so. Then we'll be done with that. We will take and wash this brush. Fortunately, and what we need is we need the dry brush again. This one's dry, but I think it's actually going to be dirty. We're going to have to wash it again anyway. I should have grabbed some more brushes. Watch it. Very, very important to get it good and dry. I got a little beater over there. Y'all can't see it, but that's what I have to do to get it as dry as I need it. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take the corner of the brush and go right under the clouds a little bit, very gently, and just make little tiny circles like so. Pull it underneath them just a little bit, make sure it's good and clean. Like so. And right here. Very, very gently. Very, very gently. Like so. Up here. Gently, gently, gently. Then tap your brush off. Get that excess paint off it. And just touch them. Very gently, just flip them up a little bit, kind of fluff them little clouds out a little bit like that. Fluff them out a little bit. Get the ones in the back first, and then come forward. Fluff them up just a little bit at the top, like that. Fluff them right out there, like so. Very gently. Go over it very gently, very gently. Go right over the top, just like that. Very gently. Very gently, like so. Back it off. Make sure you try to keep that nice and clean. Make sure you can. Very gently. There we go. And tap them down a little bit. Once you got it clean, you pull them down a little bit. Not like so. Just like that. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and just rinse that off real quick. I need a beater closer by, like I used to have with my other palette. My big stand up palette. I could use the side of the palette. Worked great. Worked great. Okay. Oh, I said to brush inside the box if you were known. <laughs> yep, I do. I do. Okay. Get as much of that thinner off the brushes as I can. Those mineral spirits, odorless mineral. I use odorless mineral spirits. Have to in here, rub these dying in the fumes. Nice and dry. Tap it up. Turn it over if you got it. Nice and dry. Okay. Now we want to go ahead and put some more trees in. What we want to do is we're coming forward, so we need to be a little bit darker. So add a little bit more midnight black to that same mixture you had because you want it to be just a little bit darker. And we're going to taste and start right here. I'm just going to tap. It's like so. It's not coming off the brush, get some more paint. Going a little bit darker. Just push it in there. Push it right in. It'll be a little bit darker. The closer it gets to you, the darker you want it to be. Just stand right in there like 
show. I like that. But, uh, you don't have to go all the way across. We're going to be moving that around again anyway. So we'll put that brush down for the moment. I'm going to do the same thing. Make sure that brush is nice and dry. Think this one's dry? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing. Tap the bottom. Well, actually, you, can, you probably want to take some lift up first. Do your little lift up first. That way you can see the little tree trunks sticking up. If you don't see the tree trunks, then you probably don't have enough paint there. And I probably don't have enough, so I think I'm going to add a little bit more paint because I'm not getting the tree trunks that I want to see. I'm going to add a little more paint. Let's get a little more paint on them. Like so. There we go. Spread it around a little bit right there, like so. Okay. Go ahead and lift them up. Make sure you put some little tree chunks coming up. Very lightly. Don't want to push it too hard. Very, very lightly. Just kind of grab and pull up. That works out. Okay, okay. Knock your brush off a little bit. Tap the bottom then. Tap the bottom with that little misty area. All the way across the top, bottom. Look at there. Draw your brush some more if it gets too wet. It's wet. Mine was wet. I had to tap it off some more. Tap it off. Right in there. You want that little misty area in there. In fact, I think I'm going to actually add a little bit of white to this. Right like that. Right across the bottom. Just a little bit. Not a whole lot. Just a little bit. And you can do that. If you're painting, you can do whatever you want to do with it. Tap it off, get it dry again, and then tap it up some more so you get a little bit more of a foggy, a little bit more of a foggy area. So, there you go, like that. That's better. Get a little bit lighter color. That's what we want here. A little bit mistier. I like that. So. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and do the final layer. And we're going to not need this brush. We're going to go ahead and wash them real quick. Get them out of the way. All that noise. Oh, boss, Bob Ross will love hearing all that noise. That's for sure. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and we'll wash this one. I should have a dozen brushes here, is what I should have. Knock them off. Nice and dry. That's what we want. Okay, now. The next layer, what we're going to need to do is we're going to add some taller pine trees. So what for that is, I'm actually going to be using a number two fan brush. But you can use a little bit bigger brush, it won't hurt a bit. We're going to use the same color, we're going to put some uh, crimson, a little blue, and midnight black. I might just make a previous size puddle of that because we're going to be using that a lot here in a minute. And you can even add a little bit of Van Dyke Brown to that mix. No problem. Okay, what we're going to do here is we want some the taller pine trees here, but we still want to make that mist coming through here. So just start tapping down like this. Up and down. Up and down. We don't want them all the same height. We want to do different different heights. Up and down. Like so. Some paint, some more paint. Some will be taller, some will be shorter. They're not all the same, for sure. 
some a little bit darker than others. Just like so. Leave the, you can leave, leave a little bit of a gap in between them too if you want to because that'll show this light behind me a little bit. Come all the way over the bottom right there. That's good. Okay. Now, what we can do is take and uh, we're going to get a mixture up here. But we're going to go ahead and clean this up just a little bit first. I'm actually going to remove a little bit of this. I'm going to just take some of that paint off a little bit with my knife. Just about where the horizon line is going to be about right here. I'm just going to pull a little bit off. I'm going to get much, but I'm going to try to get some of it off. I just don't want it all there. And then what I'm going to do is I'll just go ahead and take that a good dry brush again. And we're just going to brush along the side. We don't want water. It's not going to be water. We could have made water here. But we're not. We're going to be making snow. So we want to get as much of that off as we can. We don't want it on here. So, we'll go ahead and bring that one again, obviously. And I think what we're going to do... is start using a lot more brushes, I guess. Because... Uh, I don't like to have to keep cleaning them in front of you. So we're going to go ahead and take some paint. We're going to take some Van Dyke Brown. We're going to make us a, a, a mixture for the background. Van Dyke Brown, a little bit of ombre. We're going to mix them up. Add a little bit of white to it. Don't want, want it to be too dark. We want it to be brown, but not too dark. Nice and mixed. You don't want to be marble, you just want to mix it and have it to be dark. A little bit more the dark colors. Put that brown in there, dark. Maybe I have to do a little bit of midnight black in there, just back it back up a little bit more. Got yeah, a little bit lighter than I really wanted it to be. So we want to get some of these background trees over here for the background for those trees. Let's put it that way. So make sure you brush, brush is nice and dry. We'll go ahead and we'll grab some of this. And we're just going to go ahead and we're going to tap in where we want those trees to be. So they're going to be about right in here. So we're just going to tap in about where them trees are going to be. All the way down and right into here. About like so. Tap it right on down. Right down to about in this, this area right in here. That's more paint than I really even needed, but that's okay. I don't mind it all. So. Not like so. I don't want it to be too thick, just thin as thin as fine. Not like so. Okay? That's all we're gonna need for that. And we'll go ahead we'll go ahead and we'll highlight that real quick. And what we're gonna do is for that is we're gonna use some some white. And that needs to be a bit thinner. You probably have to thin it a little bit. Probably use some magic white or I use a little bit of thinner. I'm going to have a little bit of red in there. About like so. I need it to be nice and thin. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and highlight it. We're just going to kind of do it like a bush. Just kind of push it on there like so. Like that. Turn the brush a little bit the other way. Get some more paint. And the paint. Okay, some more paint. Tap it in there about where you think those branches and trees are going to be. About like so. Maybe to put a little bit of a, a, bit of a whiter edge to the edge of them, you know, highlight, whatever. I should try to leave some of that brown showing through. I should have left a little bit more of it coming through, but I was kind of in too much of a hurry, and that's what happens when you're in a hurry. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and we can wash your brush. Very important to keep them brushes good and clean.
as we've been pitching that back and forth. Get it good and dry. Okay. I'm about to go ahead and grab this one while we're at it. Save a little bit of time later on. We're probably going to need it. So just grab it. Let's go with it. I got all kinds of rags going here, just the dry brushes. <laughs> Better get rid of one of them. Better get rid of that one. Just a little bit too wet. There we go. That's better. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and we'll start putting our bigger trees in. We're going to have some foliage and stuff over here too, but uh, I really don't like that tree very much. There's not much I can do about it at the moment. So what we're going to do is start with the trees. We use the same black mountain mixture, which mixture, mountain mixture I said here, black, Prussian blue, crimson, Dyke brown. Mix that all really good. That fan brush loaded up really good. Load that fan brush up. Don't be bashful with it. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with the, I'm going to put a small little tree right over here. So it's going to be behind the, the house over here, so we'll just put it right here. Just tap it down. A little more paint on there. Tap it. Push them brush your bristles right in. Turn your brush over if you have to. About like so. Something like that. Right. Okay, and our house is going to be right in this area here, so we know we can put a tree about right here. So we'll just start right here. And you just put a little line there and just kind of go back and forth. Just pretend there's a trunk there. That works well. A little more paint. About right in this area right there. It's great. And we're going to come over here. We're going to start with the tree right about over here at the edge of where these were. Right about there. About there. And we're going to have to get a lot more paint. And we're going to do the big one. Right up here. It's going to be right up close. Right up there. Keep that in the chisel. Keep it nice and sharp. Like so, yeah, we're going to have a little friend of his right behind me. Think about that. So, right there. That's simple. Now, let's go ahead and we can highlight those a little bit. Hold your brush. And you can just take, you know, your knife or whatever you want to do. This little brown that we use right here will work perfect. So, we'll just take and we'll put uh, a little bit of a tree chunk. Just put it in. Just touch it. Not like so. That's a little bit more than I wanted. <laughs> That'll work. I'm in the wrong angle here. Got the wrong angle. And we'll put uh, another one right here. Like so. And we'll put some right in here. Just try and pull it down a little bit. We're going to be doing the highlights, so it doesn't really matter. You can Cover up whatever you don't want to see. Like so, and I'll put some about right here. Right there. Okay. okay. Now, we'll go ahead and take. Can I clean this brush here? This actually has Prussian blue on it, so. We're going to clean that a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and, we're going to go ahead and start 
laying in some snow before we get much further here. These trees really need to come down a little bit lower, but I need to get some snow in here first. So let's, let's do that. So let's take a nice clean brush, take some white. You're probably going to need to get a little bit thinner. And a little bit thinner to it, some liquid white. will be working pretty well. Get some white. And go ahead and just grab your brush right here and, and put that snow in. About right there. About right there. Let that blue shine through it. It doesn't hurt it a bit. We can go ahead and fix that little bubble we made there. No problem. And I want to go ahead and get some of this snow right here. Right there. I'm going to pull that down a little bit right there, like so. And we'll put the indication somewhere right here. We're going to have a cabin here, so that's no problem. But I'm going to just indicate where that snow is going to be for the moment. We'll be adding some more here directly. But I wanted to make sure there was enough here covering this for these trees to be accommodated. Not like so. So, you can go ahead and wash your brush. Again, you're going to hear that a lot today, aren't you? <laughs> okay. So, wash that. Get nice and dry. I'm not getting these brushes nearly as dry as they should be. I'll tell you that right now. So we want to get these trees down just a little bit lower. This one's not too bad. We can put some bushes in there, but we may add some more to it. I want to go ahead and get some more of this color in here. This darker color. And I want these trees to come down. I want these trees to come down to about right here. And that's not a big deal. So just Go ahead and pop that, put that uh, dark color right back in right there. So you can down. Make sure you may have to add a little bit more midnight black to it. And that's fine. And blue. And then we want this one to come down here too. A little bit further. And here's right in here. Not right to there. Okay. Now, wash your brush off. And what we're going to do is we're going to use some uh, highlights. It's going to be, we're going to take some of this white, and we're going to take some of the phthalo blue, which is beside the other one. We'll mix that phthalo blue right in there. Make sure it's thinner. Have to add a little bit of thinner to that. Or some liquid white. And then all you got to do is, I don't like how dark, I like to have a little bit lighter of that. And get rid of some of that. If it looks too dark, just add some more white to it. That's exactly what I'm doing. Adding more white to it. But, uh, so, we want to, we've already got the tree trunks in well enough, they're fine. So now we can just come in and just add some highlights to the trees, like so. Like that. Huh? And watch them, they're going to get dirtied up pretty, pretty quickly. So, go easy. Give me the highlights here. Like so. Tree trunks show through a little bit. And a 
of it over here. About like so. And wash and brush. Again. Now if you want to add some more tree trunks to there, you can go ahead and do that. It's not a problem. Just go ahead and do it. Okay, wash that brush off. Probably not going to need that much anymore. So what we want to do now is uh, probably start on our cabin. But I think I actually will add a little bit more to the tree trunk. I'm actually going to use a liner brush this time. I'm going to go ahead and I want to put an indication of the tree trunk here and there. How that trunk. You can always cover it back up if you make a mistake and whatever. Just put a little indication of tree trunks. No more paint. Like so. Always tap over that a little bit with your with your brush here. If you get a little bit too excited like I just did, and get a little bit too much there, you can always go back over a little bit like so. Just tap your highlight over the top of it. No big deal. Get a little too excited. Not like so. Make sure you push that tree trunk back behind the other one. Okay. Let's go ahead and clean that brush up and get that done and now what we're going to do is uh, take our brush here and uh, do some of this dark color but I think with as big as that is I think I want to use a bigger brush uh, not a bigger brush but a different brush I think I'm just going to grab some of this dark color here just a little bit. I'm going to put some, there's going to be some bushes over here. So I'm going to just tap in some of that dark color right over here. And it's going to come right over to here. And there's actually going to be a fence right there. So I want something that's going to separate that a little bit. And I'm going to take and uh, just dab in some of this color here. And I'm going to, I'll highlight it here in a little bit. We'll just highlight with some white or whatever. And just tap that in there like so. And maybe we'll have some right in here too. But we'll add some more to that in a minute when we get the house in there. I'll just an indication about where I want it to be. You could have put some over on the other side over here too, which would have been fine. Like this right here. Could have been, you could have uh, just tapped out some of this darker area right here. Like so. And, uh, and you could use a bigger brush for that for that matter. We can just tap them in a little bit right here. We'll just get an idea of what it's going to be. And so I'm coming down at an angle right over here. So I know that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm coming down this way. And I'm just going to tap in some darker areas. Just for the moment. We'll, we'll be doing more for it in a minute or two. Just tap that in a little bit. Just tap it in like so. Probably could have used a could have used a bigger brush and probably got it down a lot quicker. And uh, a little darker maybe. Let me put some of that midnight black in there a little bit. It's pretty dark over here. You want it to be dark. Nice and dark. So we'll just put that over just like that. No problem. Nice and dark. It's a bit dark. That. All the way down under here. I could have just painted it on there and just as well, wouldn't have mattered. Once we highlight it, it won't matter at all. Won't even see most of the little dots that we're putting in there. I'm just going to use up some of that space right there about like so. No problem. Okay. 
Now, I could have went a little bit higher up in that tree with it. Probably should have, but I didn't, so we're not going to bother with it. Right now, anyway, we may change our mind later. That's one thing about painting, you can change your mind anytime you want to. Okay, let's go ahead and let's get, build up a little cabin. Okay, we want some, um, some of this dark mixture here. From that blues, crimson, Van Dyke brown, from this darker brown right here. But we want all that nice and dark, all and dark. Okay, so we want to figure out where we want to put our house, where we're going to put it. Okay, so make sure there's no blue in there like that. Okay, so we'll just take and we'll carve one out. There we go. Like this, and uh, probably going to come over here about like so. So we'll just about right there. Push that canvas, push that color right in there. Maybe you have to scrape it off a little bit. We want it to come right through that tree, about right to there. About right Scrape the paint right off if you want. I'll go right back over it again. There's no problem with me. Just do that. Put that down here. Like so. Wipe the knife off. Get rid of that light color. Get the dark color again. And start all over again. Just go put that right in there. Right there. Down here. Put the edge. Come down. So, and we want this peak to be, I'm going to see that peak, definitely, see that peak, whoops, we got a little bit, we got a little bit carried away above it, we'll fix it, we will fix it, we can use the back of the knife, we got a small amount right here, and come in at an angle with it from the end, like so, like so, that. Come down. Okay. That's good. Now, I'm going to wipe my knife off. And I'll probably really quickly fix this mess up I did right here. And I'll just tap it down a little bit. That's all I'm going to do. Tap it down a little bit. More than we know it's simple. Okay. Now we want to cover this with some, we're going to need some snow, so we're going to rotate this and scrape it off. We don't want snow there. But we do want snow there, that's why we want it to be lighter. Okay, now we want some browns. So many browns. And sienna. Let it get a little bit marbled. We've got some different colors in there. So, Here's what we want to do. We want to take this here and we want a very gentle corner of it pull it down. And you may have to go ahead and hit it right about here also. But you can pull that down very carefully. Like so. Like that. And there. Wipe the knife off. Just cut it off. Just like that. Cut it off. Gone. Problem solved. Get you some of that white and blue. Mostly white. Cut you off a nice little ribbon of that white. A little bit of blue in it, it won't matter at all. So we take, start in here, very, very light. Put it on there. Like so. Like 
still. I have to do it a couple of times sometimes. Make sure you get it nice and light. And you get it dirty, you have to wipe your knife off. And you might even have to use it again. The paint's pretty thick in there. So don't worry about it, I've got a paint show on the top here. It makes it look like there's snow piled up there. Which is fine. Wipe the knife off. You may want to go ahead and put it this way. It's probably going to go too far, so you may want to consider going on the side of the knife. Or you could use your liner brush. Just kind of tap it on there, like so. Then you can take and uh, take some of this other brown stuff you got right here. Just kind of grab it, pull it in, pull in some of the other brown colors, like so. A little bit lighter here and there. Got all you need right there. It could have been a little bit darker right in there. You could take and uh, put a little bit on your brush, on your uh, knife. And you could just bring the edge in just a little bit like that. Just like that. You get that little bit of eve showing there. And you got an eve. You get a little bit extra there, don't worry about it. We're going to have a Uh, bushes there anyway. Let's scrape that off. And we'll take a darker color. You gotta have a door. Put the door in. Like so. Got a door. Scrape off the bottom. Like so. That's all there is to it. <coughs> I'm running out of paper towel here, I think. So, we'll get rid of this one. Turn it over. Okay, now, now we need some more white. Now we're going to get some white. We're gonna finish that. And we got one more thing to do first. We're going to go ahead and do the fence. We need a dark first. We need some black. Some of the dark brown. Van Dyke brown maybe would work fine. We'll do Van Dyke brown. Okay, we're going to have a fence right here. I'm going to need a lot more paint than that, evidently. Some black. You can use your knife to do this, too. And there, and there, and there. And maybe a tiny one right there. Turn your paint out a little bit. Get you from that uh, brown to highlight. It didn't highlight very well, did it? It wasn't, it wasn't thin enough. So don't come off your brush, it ain't thin enough. There we go. Get brown in there. Get it really thin. Just a tad bit darker. Super, super thin. Then we can take and make a, a little line right here. Right here. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and we can go ahead and get the rest of us. No. Get you some uh, thinner. 
want to be thin. Some of that nice white. Now we can take and pull it down. Okay. All the way up in behind the cabin. Really careful. Like so. I'm going to grab some of that brown and I won't hurry to get Let some of the colors come through. Like so. A little reflection from that. Cabin won't hurt nothing. And the brown, you'll see some brown reflection from the sun, you know, whatever. So, I don't like it, Let's cover it up, cover it right back up, it's not really the bed. Just cover it up if you don't like it. Don't like so. Okay, get it nice and thick. Nice and thin rather, I'm sorry, thin. Get that white good and thin. So then you can tap in some colors over these branches right here. Push up. Very gently. Control. Like that. You can get some blue in there if you wanted to, here and there. I really don't like it, but I'm going to put it there anyway. And okay, we'll go ahead and we'll take some of this bluer color. And we'll go ahead and we'll bring it down here. Down on the pathway. Not like so. That little path right there. And we need some more white, so we're we'll using the brush. I don't think I have enough white, but we'll find out. Let's see if we can put some white in here for some bushes. Not as many as I would like. Like so. More bushes in here. We need some more white. And we'll put some bushes over here. Yeah, like so. You're done. Just pull your snow out from the bottom of it, and then you're done. Okay. Once that's done, go ahead, grab the brush. You see some of that nice thin paint again. You see that dark paint. Put in a few sticks and twigs and stuff like that. And, you know, some little sticks and whatever. Maybe uh, a little one over here, maybe or something. I would have to be thinner than that to do it up there. Same over here, you may want some little twigs and bushes and pieces of grass, whatever. Or on the side of the house here, whatever. That works so. Alrighty. We'll call that a finished painting. Go ahead, sign your name to it, and be done with it. Whoops, I got a piece of big old hair here. 
wonder how that happened. Okay. Give a good signing. Good bright color. Be proud of it. Plenty of thinner. Oh, my signature ain't worth the hoop today. There we go. A little bit late. Let's try that. You can go right back over if you need to. That's what I do all the time. I have the worst part. I have a hard time putting my signature on when I do the painting. Alrighty. Thank you all for watching. You all have a great day. And we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.